Hello and welcome to InstaBlogs Global Report. This is Sukhmani with fresh updates and more citizen voices from all over the world. Stories for the day are Sri Lankan war escalating as Norwegian truce is declared dead. United Nations expresses shock at the kidnapping of American UN worker in Quetta. Kenya to introduce new identity cards. An ex-general and two others found shot dead near Cancun in Mexico. Sri Lanka's 25-year-old civil war with Tamil Tiger rebels will likely escalate into the bloodiest period of fighting, with all hopes of resurrecting Norwegian brokered peace process formally ending. CJ Pankaj Koswami from India says that Sri Lanka should initiate an investigation into the charges of abuse and media assault if it is to retain its victorious image. I am Pankaj, student journalist from India, reporting on Instablogs. The Sri Lankan government, it seems, has decided to go full throttle against the Tamil rebels in the best interest of the nation's territorial integrity. The government has also earned huge accolades for the hard-earned success against the LTTE in the north. However, the reports of human rights abuse by the army against innocent civilians and assault on media are both disturbing and regrettable. The Sri Lankan government may continue battering the Tamil rebels given the right to protect its territorial and sovereign integrity. At the same time, it must initiate an investigation into allegations of abuse and media attacks so that may continue remaining in the good books of its own countrymen. United Nations has expressed extreme shock and dismay at the rare incident of attack and subsequent kidnapping of a UN official in the region of Quetta that has largely been spared the Taliban and Al-Qaeda insurgency racking the Northwest. CJ Karim Khan from Pakistan condemns the attack which he thinks are meant to hamper the international development efforts within the country. This is Karim Khan, citizen journalist from Instablox from Pakistan. The increasing incidence of kidnapping in Pakistan is an indicator of the rising level of crime. Most kidnappings are meant for ransom, but those of foreign officials are thought to be committed by vicious elements who want to discourage international development efforts in Pakistan, especially in the Northwest. The local people in general welcome such efforts and condemn all kinds of hostility toward foreign citizens who are working toward the development of their areas. Now is the time for the local administrations to tighten security measures in their jurisdiction and deal sternly with criminals. The Kenyan government has decided to issue identity cards in order to check the growing influx of illegal immigrants into the country. CJ Rose Wangui from Kenya believes that the government is grappling with two competing interests, protecting the refugees and controlling their influx also. This is Rose Wangoi, a citizen journalist from Kenya, reporting on Instablogs. The government of Kenya plans to issue Kenyans with new identity cards that will have enhanced security features to avoid forgery. The cards will make it hard for immigrants to enter the country illegally. This comes at a time when the government is holding talks with the United Nations High Commission for Refugees on a plan to open a new refugee camp to cater for an influx of them from war-torn Somalia. Dadaab, the largest camp for those fleeing Somalia, already hosts 240,000 refugees against a capacity of 90,000. At the moment, the Kenyan government is also grappling with two competing interests, protecting the refugees and controlling their influx. The local community has also complained about the effect of the swelling refugee population on the environment and the meager resources available in the arid northeastern province. The bodies of a retired Brigadier General and two other men have been found near the Mexican resort town of Cancun after a suspected drug cartel killing. CG Oscar Estrada has more on the story from Mexico. This is Oscar Villanueva, citizen journalist reporting from Mexico. The bodies of a retired Mexican General and two other men were found Tuesday in a sport utility vehicle abandoned outside of Cancun. All have been shot multiple times. The victims were identified as retired Army General Mauro Enrique Tello, his assistant Julio Cesar Roman, an active duty lieutenant, and a civilian Juan Ramirez. Tello has been working as a security consultant to the local government when he was killed. Officials say they have no locate any suspects. More than 6,000 homicides linked to the organized crime were reported last year amid a battle among the world's most powerful drug cartels for territory and resistance to a two-year government war against drugs. 
If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let Instablogs be your choice. You can contact us at cj at instablogs.com. That's all for today's show. We'll be back with fresh updates and more citizen voices. Till then, it's goodbye from the entire team of Global Report.